everyone. So if you could consider liking and subscribing, that would be brilliant. And I'm just going to talk today about where we're going with the portfolio that I've got and my reasons for changing a few things. First up, if you're unsure of crypto and you're looking to get involved, open up an exchange and throw in £100 or $100 or even 50 whatever you can afford, um, and just really watch how uh, the whole crypto industry works. In stocks and shares, your, your uh, daily rate will go up and down, maybe like half a percent if you're lucky. On bad days and good days, it will go up 2 3 4%. But they're few and far between. It's usually 0 to uh, 1% up or down the way and anything in between that. With crypto, you can start the day at 10 grand and end the day at 9 grand or even worse, 7 or 6 grand depending on what's happened. It is about volume, but right now, if you bought in and just bought either Bitcoin or Ethereum and just chilled out and seen what it did, you would realise that today it's about the volume and keeping your dollar cost average down, which means buying in every month, but also trying to buy in when it's red, and especially looking back the seven day, 14 day average, and make sure you're getting a good deal. If you use regular things like uh, CoinMarketCap and CoinGecko, then you can get your average there with your portfolio. You'll have your, if you keep your buying days and log them correctly, you'll get your dollar cost average. And what the key is, is to try and buy in when it's either on that figure or below um, to keep bringing your dollar cost average down, anticipating a bull run to go absolutely crazy and for your dollar cost average to make you as much money as possible. This bad boy's Atom or Cosmos. I had 105 of these. I've unstaked them and I'm waiting on them to get exit their staking, which is, I think it's 13 days away or 12 days away. It's roughly a thousand pounds or $1,000, sorry, and I'm going to reallocate this into HBAR, Gala, and good old Crow. The reason I'm doing that is because I think this coin will go to $100. And right now, it's sitting between $8 and $10, which is a 10x back to there. Now, being greedy, yeah, which is one thing I try not to be, but I think to myself, if I move that over to Crow, and definitely Crow and the HBAR, there's chances there of a 20x. Gala Games goes back to its all-time high. There's chances of a 40x there. So even if I split that average, that's like a 30x or something. That's ridiculous in comparison to a 10x. And Crow and HBAR are big coins with massive following. So from the portfolio, we've scrubbed this purely on the anticipation that I expect Crow and HBAR to outperform it. Over to good old Dogecoin. Um... Again, I had lots of things in Crypto.com and another in KuCoin and such like where I maybe had 10 20 $30 for a speculative play in the next bull run. But after Elon Musk potentially going to change and then did change Twitter to X and how much he likes this coin, I thought to myself, fuck it, I'm just going to get sell everything and move it over into there. So I think I've got about 4,000 Dogecoin now Um I think that's, it was roughly about $300 or something when I bought it, but the market's collapsed. So again, this is purely another speculative play. If he does do to X, which everybody thinks, where he's going to make it a social media platform with also a YouTube streaming type thing, with a marketplace as well, then oh, I think Dogecoin's arguably going to be the first pick at a coin. And if that happens, then that means the portfolio is going to go mental again. So I can't miss that. Again, speculation and hype and noise. It's got all of them and it's, it's I can't even sit here and say it's a good coin or a good project. The guy's made it as a laugh um, and it's just took off because Elon likes it. So again, we've uh, reallocated the portfolio and we've put in Dogecoin instead of a lot of the little nonsense coins that I had. After XRP doing its thing again and going up to the 81 cents, I kind of thought about it and I know that I said the XRP, I think, will reach maybe between 5 and $25 in the next bull run. I pulled this out as well and I stuck that in with Dogecoin. This one's Kote. Um, I've recently been researching this 
and I think it's fantastic. I think back a return back to its all time high is fantastic as well. It's roughly a 15x back to all time high. And again, this one's got serious noise on the internet. If you read up in it, it's um, a business that looks to help monetize uh, businesses, governments, everything. And if someone's wanting to go and make their, uh, their own cryptocurrency, especially a business or a country, then this is going to be one of the companies that can help them and they use their Koti token for that. It could go crazy again. Again, speculative. It's got the noise, it's got the traction, it's got what I like when I'm looking for my coins. So I might be buying it this next month. Sandbox, class uh, gaming token. I'm looking at uh, going to be investing in this. Currently still sitting at around about 45 cents and it's all time high, $8.50. It does make it a really, really good project. Maybe a 12, 14x back to all time high. And if it kicks off, this is one of the biggest games uh, with crypto and it should go absolutely crazy. Lastly, well not lastly, second last, HBAR. I'm going to be investing in this. I want to get up to 50,000 coins at least going into the bull run uh, for next year. It's going to be a bit, take a bit of hard work and a bit of perseverance, but with the Atom tokens coming in, that should at least get me some money in it uh, over and above what I was going to with my salary. It's got all the noise. It's got Reddit, Pinterest, Facebook, YouTube, Google searches. There's, it's there for days. The H Barbarians have definitely got their total uh, lined up to do fantastic in the next run. I was anticipating between a dollar and two dollars, but I was getting DMs, I was half researched it, and everybody thinks between three and five, purely on the hype and the noise surrounding it. If it kicks off and starts doing well, I can see this being fantastic. For me personally, if I can get, I don't know, say 50,000 in there and that goes to five dollars, I will be laughing. And so whatever else, as long as we get in early and as long as we keep our DCA down low, we need to be uh, religiously, if you like, every month just taking money out of our accounts and putting it in. And then once we get to a certain stage, I will be shown and speaking about how I'm learning out and how I expect everybody else to be learning out if they are following this. Lastly, I'm just going to speak about my wee favourite coin. I absolutely love Crypto.com. I know nothing about American sport. I don't know how to play NFL. I like watching basketball. Went back to Shaq and Kobe when it was on Sky Sports late at night. Um, and I used to come in for the town and I'd have a drink in me. I'd sit and watch that and chill out before I went to my bed. Everybody knows who the LA Lakers are. It's like football. Everybody will know who Man United are. Everybody will know who Milan is. Everybody will know who Real Madrid and Barcelona are. I know who the LA Lakers are. And they're just fantastic. And Crypto.com went and bought the, uh, the stadium and named it the Crypto.com Marida instead of the Staples Centers. Now, that's a fantastic market employee. They're also in, they're also in F1. Um, again, it's another sport. I watch IndyCar if it's on the TV. I have no idea how they win it and I have no idea how it works. But it's the same with other people who watch F1. They'll be like, this is boring, but when you watch it, it's actually really addictive and it's quite good to watch. And Crypto.com again, I've had a partnership with F1. They were in the Qatar uh, World Cup last year, which arguably was the best World Cup. There was no incidents, there was no crap going on in the games. Everything was spot on and everybody loved it. I mean, being British, I enjoy a drink. Um, not as much these days, right enough, the hangovers are terrible. But everybody was up my arms because there was no alcohol. But everybody still went and everybody still had a fucking fantastic time. And these guys were heavily involved in that. There's a photo of the Crypto.com arena. I mean, it looks absolutely fantastic. I don't know if that's um, a drawing of it or if it's actually what it looks like. People in America will be able to tell us that. Um, but that is fantastic. Just lastly, just a quick recap. Nothing's guaranteed in the crypto industry. Nothing's guaranteed that the money's going to go back when the bull run hits. Nothing is guaranteed. But the same as stocks, you've got to look at the past and hope that the future is going to be something similar. My, my prediction is Bitcoin between 150 and 180. Ethereum, 10 and 20 grand. Crypto.com, $5 max. HBAR, $5 max. Although I would err on the side of caution and say probably two. And there's other ones that are just, they're going to come from nowhere and nobody's ever going to see them coming. If anything tells me 
these AI totems are going to be absolutely ridiculous. Veracity, singularity, and it. They're, they're, they're just going to go mental because people are wanting to buy an AI they're now. But the same as the NFTs. Everybody wanted an NFT. I, I believe NFTs have completely dropped in value. But they could go crazy in the next bull run again, which in turn, everything, the money in the space, it'll just blow the, the actual market cap to fuck and everything will be crazy. But you need to get in the now with when things are low. You need to trust that the th that the money is going to go back a year, 18 months from now, will be exiting. And I'll be going back to stocks and shares. I will be buying crypto, but I'll, I'll be trading more than buying. And I've said this before as well, I use CryptoBusy for the trading signals. It's £30 a month, including the VAT. And they also give you, there's a free trading signal if you're not sure. Do your own research, folks. Get involved, get invested in. Give the page a like and a share if you want. Um, I'd appreciate that. I'm going to drop the portfolio correctly and we'll talk about it again at a later date. Get invested in.